This is all glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father who the Wordly calls God. Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son who the Wordly calls Jesus Christ. We'd like to say the water or thank you to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for the Rakakwadash. The Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. Double honor goes out to the apostles and elders, great millstone and rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akiyam, Wazakwanyam. All around the world, preaching and teaching this word and truth and this is to Shalom on to the whole for let. I'll start your call with the men of South Carolina coming back with uh, another lesson. And I just want to, uh, you know, harp on about uh, being humble in this faith. All right. Being humble in this truth. Being uh, meek. All right. Because the scriptures say what? The meek. Uh, roughly paraphrasing, the meek shall inherit the earth. The earth. And uh, one of the characteristics that the whole elect, all right, uh, is going to have is meekness, all right? Brothers are going to, um, you know, be meek, be humble, all right? And, you know, uh, as a brother that's in a camp, all right, with uh, other men, hey, that's a beautiful thing to have, man. Whenever we link up with the, uh, you know, the elders and the Akiyam in Jersey, all right, um, uh, it's no, nothing but humbleness, man, being around uh, the brotherhood. Everybody humble, everybody, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Ministering to each other, all right? So I just wanted to harp on that real quick because a lot of our people, um, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are not meek, are not humble. And uh, a lot of men in the faith, all right, in these various other camps, all right, and even uh, some brothers, you, you my own, you know, you know, you deal with personally. Some brothers are not uh, meek and humble, but for the most part, every brother I deal with, you know, is humble as hell, meek as hell. But it's a lot of men in these other groups too. That's that's not humble. They proud as hell. They can't be corrected. Uh, so yeah, just want to harp, harp on the spirit of meekness. The Psalms eighty four and ten for a day in thy court. For a day in thy course is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. All right. And this is uh, King David. All right. Speaking. This is King David saying that he'd rather be uh, a doorkeeper in the house of Yahweh by Shemi outside than to uh, dwell in um, wickedness. So basically he's saying that uh, in the kingdom, he'll be a doorkeeper in the kingdom, man. Be a doorkeeper. Uh, uh, as the elect, man. He's still going to be elect, but he'll have uh, a lowly position, and that's humbleness, all right? And as long as I'm a part of that elect, I don't, it don't matter what my position in the body is, all right? That's basically what he's saying. And that's what, and that was King David, and that's the spirit of humbleness. The, mo the man that could be the proudest of the proudest still has meekness, still has humbleness. It's Matthew 5 and 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Yeah, that's who's going to uh, be the first fruits of the kingdom. The meek. All right? The humble. All right? The not, the not proud. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 8 and 1. Now, as touching things offered into idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifies. All right? And... Hey, that's where the uh, puff it up comes coming from. That's where the proudness comes from. You see these various uh, men in these various camps uh, don't like to be corrected according with the doctrine. All right. Because that the knowledge that they do have of Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua has uh, puffed them up. And, and that's what this knowledge could do, because this is the top knowledge on earth. You feel good. You feel great about it but you still got to be humble though you have this knowledge because what the lord can take that all away from you if you too proud you uh you acting like you uh you know um you might deal uh it might be a person that hasn't come into the faith never heard about it never uh you know ran into it they could come in later but you're acting uh proudly against people that don't know the truth uh hey that's that ain't what it is that's not you being me now of course all right, you you will have a sense of that you're educated and they're uneducated, you know, according to the scriptures. But that don't mean 
uh, uh, your 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 spirit is a proud spirit towards people that that's not in in the faith, man. Because what you uh, see men come and go in this faith, your spirit should be the wadi how about shimi for for uh, allowing me to have this faith. Uh, Baba Kasha, let me keep this faith. All right, that's the spirit you should have when you're maybe around or see or know someone that doesn't have. Uh, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. They can't get it. They can't. They wasn't uh, uh, called to receive this truth. All right? Got to have that uh, uh, that meek spirit. Okay? That thankful spirit. Like, dang, this could this could be me. I could be one that, that uh, who ears are blocked, who eyes can't see. All right? You got to have that spirit of meekness, of humbleness. First Peter five and six, humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of Yahweh by Shimi Al that he may exalt you in due time. Because at the end of the day, what we are men. Yeah, we, we want that glory, we want that fame, we want that status, but it'll come in due time. The heavenly father gonna exalt the uh the elect in due time. Lord willing, all right, us brothers doing this in truth and sincerity are part of the that elect. All right, brothers gonna get exalted in that due time. All right, but it says, what you got to do, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of Yahweh by Shemel All right, got to be meek in this thing. And uh, like I said, that's the main problem of uh, our people. That's why two-thirds can't get it, can't understand the Lord's block. Their uh, sight to see, their ears to hear, because they don't have a humble spirit. Jake is so proud, man. Jake think. That uh, uh, that they wake they self up, that they feed themselves. All right, Jake got a proud spirit. But if all Jake was humble, the heavenly Father would uh, would have came through, forgave Jake for their sins, and we'll be in the kingdom. But Jake has the spirit of, of proudness, and us brothers in the faith, you know, we gotta, you know, uh, uh, make sure we check ourselves and don't have that proud spirit like. Uh, like like two thirds of our people, we got to be what meek. The Second Chronicles seven and fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, are right, the Israelites, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will hear the hear, heal their land. All right. So the Lord is saying, if Jake will humble themselves, all right, and pray and seek his face and turn away from the wickedness. All right, then he would uh, uh, forgive Jake for their sin and what bring uh, us in that kingdom right away. But Jake has what a proud spirit, um, a Babylonian proud spirit that feels like they're, they're not wrong. All right. That they feel like that they can do whatever they want to do, that they don't have to uh, follow the law, statutes and commandments, these precepts of the scriptures, because. They feel like they're not wrong because they don't have a humble spirit. Like, you know what? I, I am wrong. You know, I, I, I shouldn't be doing this. I, I need to repent and try not to do this. That's the humble, meek spirit that the whole for elect has. That's why our brothers come into this faith and try their best of their ability to follow laws that is a commandment because we know that we humble ourselves and know that uh, some of the things that, you know, we grew up doing were wrong. This is James 4 and 6, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he said, God resisted the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. All right, so the Heavenly Father, hey, resist the proud, that proud-ass spirit, that I'm um, better than the next man's spirit. All right, now, of course, be confident in yourself. Be sure in yourself. Don't think lowly of yourself. Hell no. Have that uh, confident spirit. But not a proud spirit. It's the difference between confidence and a proud spirit. And the heavenly father resisted the proud, but give it what? Grace unto the humble. Okay? So I just wanted to bring that out. You know, just uh, meditating on that. A lot of proud uh, uh, Jake's in his faith. And, you know, us brothers, we just got to try the best our ability to stay humble, stay meek. All right? And in due time, uh, uh, brothers would get exalted, man. Call a lawyer. How about you? Me outside, Shalom.